Last week's sneaker releases were absolutely insane. So this week has got a lot to live up to. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T. And today we're gonna to be looking at the upcoming week's sneaker predictions. Now I'm still recovering from last week because there were so many killer releases coming out. Fortunately, I didn't cop anything at retail i got l's all over the place no dubs at all had to pay resale on a couple of pairs which i'll be reviewing later on this week so stay tuned on kings down roots this week i am not going to explain my methodology of how i actually work out my resale predictions if you want to check out a previous video up here please do and you'll see how i actually go about it so this week there are four new releases dropping when in reality there's actually a lot more but i'm just giving you my top picks the first sneaker we're going to be covering today is a dunk it's a nike dunk high se all-star and it's in this kind of black and almost green tinted white colorway which is really interesting and unusual the sneaker releases on the 9th of march and it has a recommended retail price of 94 pounds 95 here in the uk so this is the first drop of the week the first piece to look out for so the money sizes for this particular sneaker seem to be the 7 the 7.5 the 9.5 and the 10 now the 10 does seem to be the golden size so it's the size you're going to make the most return on if you're able to cop at retail the sneaker is averaging around 134 pounds on the pre-sale market which isn't a huge amount of markup for a sneaker it's around 40 percent so it's kind of a relatively low amount of return on this sneaker in terms of supply it's kind of at a medium level so there is quite a lot of availability for this sneaker which is representative on the pre-sale market cost when this sneaker releases to the general public i'm expecting it to kind of reach around 150 pounds for a resale price which is about 60 percent markup on the retail price which is a decent amount of money to be made it's a solid investment but it's probably not the biggest for the week and it's certainly not the most interesting so in my resale prediction videos i'm going to introduce a new section every week and that's going to be a hold or sell part and that is a suggestion from some of you guys actually had a few recommendations in the comments to actually start doing this and i think it's a good idea so yeah i'm going to start doing it now nice Nike Dunk All-Star, do I think that's a hold or do I think it's a sell? I'm going with sell. I'm going with sell because I do think the availability is high and I can't see a lot of people buying it as readily as some of the other sneakers. It's quite a niche colorway and I think it's gonna be quite hard for people to pull off. Um, I, maybe it will increase a little bit over time, but it's not worth holding on for. I would sell straight away. The next sneaker is another Dunk High. It's the Nike Dunk High Orange or the Syracuse colorway, which is a really interesting sneaker for a number of different reasons. Firstly, the sneaker released in 2016, which means it's a re-release and the original colorway did very well. Although I do think now there's a re-release happening, those numbers are gonna plummet. So if you own any of the 2016 colorways, away versions then please resell them quickly because otherwise you're going to lose your money another reason why this is an interesting sneak release this week is because in 2020 there was a low version of the dunk which I'm pretty sure most of you guys know about anyway, but that did extremely well on the resale market, which means this colorway is a little bit of a wild card, which does mean that there's potentially more upside from a resale market perspective. This sneaker releases on the 11th of March, 2021, and has a retail price of £94.95, which is the kind of standard price for a dunk here in the UK. The money sizes seem to be the five, the six, and the eight, and the golden size does seem to be the UK six, which is the kind of base sizes obviously they do generally have a lot more value anyway what's interesting is in the pre-sale market there doesn't seem to be an overhype of this colorway it's coming out around 129 pounds which is markup of about 35 percent on the retail price when this sneaker releases to the general public i'm anticipating that you're going to see a further drop of about six or seven percent on the current pre-sale market and the reason why is because the availability and the stock levels are quite high on this sneaker they're quite readily available on most websites here in the UK so there's going to be a lot of these flooding the market and pushing the prices down I think the resale price for the golden size UK 6 is even going to be around 120 pounds which is still going to provide you about 30 percent markup but it's not a huge amount and it's certainly not something worth investing in heavily now is the Nike Dunk High Syracuse a hold or a sell I think it's a hold I'm going to go hold and the reason I'm going hold is because I don't think that the returns initially are going to be that high 
and I think over time this might build up just like the Syracuse did as well. So if you're able to cop at retail, I would definitely hold on for at least six to 12 months and see what happens. Uh, I'm anticipating that the prices will go up. But overall, for me personally, I love the colorway. I think it rocks, I think it looks really nice. And I'll be trying to pick up a personal pair if I can. The third sneaker coming this week is my personal favorite, it is the Yeezy Boost 700 V3 in the cream colorway which looks absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to get my hands on these sneakers. So there's been one or two people on YouTube that I've seen doing early reviews, but besides that, the hype is pretty low key, which is surprising because I love the colorway. And if it's anything like the static and how the static performs in the resale market, this is gonna be an absolute gold mine. So the Yeezy Boost 700 V2 Cream is due to release on the 13th of March, 2021 with an estimated recommended retail price of 250 pounds here in the UK. The money sizes seem to be the five, the nine, and the 10, and the five is the golden size. It's the one you wanna try and get your hands on. But in reality, in my view, any cop in this particular sneaker is gonna make you money on the resale market. The average pre-sale market bid seems to be around 350 pounds for that UK five, which does feel a bit low to me. So I feel like this sneaker has got legs to improve over the next couple of weeks. I think when this sneaker releases to the general public, I can see it going up further. When people start seeing it on people's feet, seeing it out and about, the value is gonna increase and the demand is going to go up. I can see this sneaker making between 400 and 450 pounds, which is a nice 80% markup on the retail price. For me personally, I'm gonna be doing everything I can to cop a pair and I would suggest you do the same. So would I hold or sell the sneaker? Well, I genuinely think the demand is going to go up when people start seeing them and that will reflect in the resale price. So I think you're gonna get more for your money in a couple months time than you would do straight away. Now the fourth and final sneaker releasing this week is technically not even releasing this week. I kind of cheated a little bit. This is releasing on the 15th of March, which is actually the following Monday, but I'm not gonna be able to do my videos with the right timing. So I thought I'd talk about it this week anyway. And that is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 380 Covalite, which I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not entirely sure. I'll put my hand up and tell the truth is that I actually Googled how to pronounce it. And I came back with this really strange video. So I wanted to show you this. This is how you pronounce Covalite, I think. Covalite. Covalite, I don't know, not sure what's right. <laughs> So the release date for this sneaker is the 15th of March, 2021, and has a retail price of 220 pounds here in the UK. So the money sizes for this sneaker seem to be the UK nine, 10, and 11. And the UK nine is that golden size. It's the one you're gonna get the biggest return on. Currently on the pre-sale market, it's coming back around 172 pounds which is actually 20% less than the recommended retail price. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Now for me personally, I love a Yeezy Boost 380. I love the Alien, I like the Mist, and I like the Calcite Glow. These colorways are brilliant. With the dark colors of the 380s, they never really seem to do that well. And if you just look at the last release of the dark colorway, which was the Onyx, it kind of tanked on the resale market. And I don't really even like the look of it in terms of a colorway, personally speaking. Now with this release, yeah, it has a kind of slight tint of blue, purple to it. It is a little bit interesting. I am quite intrigued to get my hands on it. Now I think the only logical thing to do with sneaker is probably go in for them just to get a personal pair. If you like the look of them and you want to wear them, then absolutely buy them. But in terms of reselling, I just don't think it's worth investing in at all. But if you do have a pair and you want to get rid of them, would you hold onto them or sell them? Well, I'd probably hold onto them for at least a month or two. The reason being is that I think a lot of people are going to try and get rid of them in that first month or two, and that is going to drive the price down. So be really careful in that first month. And on that note, that's it for me today. I've been Matt Rideout. This has been Kings Down Roots. If you've enjoyed my video, please drop me a comment or a like down below. It means the absolute world to me. You can also follow me on Instagram up here. I post a lot of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.